Broken glass after closing time, a rare moment of solitude. When you're surrounded by sound and there are people all around and they're howling for a little piece of you and you're dying for some peace and quiet but the lights are down low and the show must go on and you're so damn tired that the stage is on fire. That's when you're alone, you're really alone and so you stare at your phone and you groan because you have no new messages and 17 saved messages. To listen to saved messages, press 1. And then you're surrounded once more and you fall to the floor with your poor thoughts calling and every moment of silence has impeccable timing and you might just think of me again. Telling Carla she's beautiful. She's all the good times and the bad times and the times I lay awake at night and thought of where she was, what she was doing and whether she thought of me like I thought of her. She's the all time greatest, most bodacious ancient with a facelift, prints lifted from fingers and lingering incense met my interest, princess. You know, she don't eat meat and feel free to disagree but that's a part of me. She got the hopes and dreams but her self esteem needs an increase. She needs me to be me so she can see her divinity. Oh God, I believe in her more than anyone. She's a rare flower growing amongst the weeds. Not songbird in a cage living the dream if you want to live the dream you got to seize it like when your weed dealer needs to read your new release and you get back from Birmingham with three signed books and a dozen new connections who mention you on social networks experts in their niches giving you peace of mind and side memorabilia to share with your readers the thought leaders who see the reason for reading fiction the contradiction between romance and horror creeping easily into other genres which can't return the favor and we savor the day we came together full of clever incentives like author bingo where you could win a kindle if you mingled with every single individual the residual build-up of interesting people if you want to live the dream go back in time in Birmingham sad poems I wrote a poem about how much I miss her it was a sad poem a fact that passed me by because most of my poems are sad I'm not sure if she liked the poem but the thing is I'm gonna write sad poems again and again and again whether she likes it or not but it's okay because I also do happy and she makes me happy when she's around this poem is a happy poem and this one's for her she won't leave. She just laughs and her hands clap in raptured. Seven little words she slept beside in silence. Sibilant vigilantes still envisioning zero emissions. So she sat down and scrolled the screen with her fingernail. She won't leave the Rolling Stones alone. She's been shown the long road home, but she refuses to walk it alone. She took her ticket and tore the sides of it so she knew it was no longer valid. Keep the faith. Everything is terrible and I'm dreading the inevitable tension when I mention condescension, the lack of respect and the disdain I collect for the people we elect as representatives, senseless centres of excellence rendered helpless. The footnotes of history books were made for men like me who were born early and blessed with a blend of graft and greatness, but I hate this life at times and we all do. Now I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer or to clown around with a Glasgow frown causing trouble in smoking bubbles like the struggles we face on a daily basis, but you've got to keep the faith if you you want to win this race and I hate the fates that make me late the mistakes I made along the way and the way I changed and stayed the same for the weekend when you walk through town down the high street and it's light outside because the darkness died and you're alive again and the market stores crowd with a thousand lives casually interlinked and never seven steps from Kevin Bacon Jamaican flags making me crazy like reggae songs at blues jams brushing hands for a split second and then bang and the dirt has gone when you're surrounded by sound so loud you see colours, drunk as ringside and excited, the captain's casual crowd control throwing chocolate gold in a sleeper hold, slam faster than that like a heart attack, and there'll be no rest for the wicked in Wickham. We come alive in the night time when the stars shine bright and they lower house lights, and everything's fine and I feel alright just knowing my friends are behind me. The words melt on your tongue. And they taste like pistachio ice cream. The words that pass between us and take on new meanings. Like the sound of my name when you say it and give me butterflies. And I feel alive but a part of me dies when we say goodbye. Truth is, I'm just a fraudster and a charlatan. The words are just words that fade away and get forgotten. But you gotta start at the bottom and claw your way up. And you know this because you're on the rise too. The words melt on your tongue like a single snowflake in the summer until all that's left is silence. Madness. We are on a fast dash to madness, a quick descent into incoherence, the penance we share with the people we care about. Maybe I'm crazy and maybe I'm fading away in a burst of flame or maybe I'm here to serve a purpose, perverted and hurt and if you can't come first then I try not to enter the race. I got one thing on my mind because it's my time to shine and it's not a crime to try to find her, to design one line to change her mind and make her mine and now I'm crying. Look, there's something about the warmth of the sun which reminds me of the way she looks at me but when you play with fire you'd better be ready for fireworks. Checking for ghosts. Although we may just be checking for crackheads, even though that crackhead is actually
but whatever floats your boat. I don't care what drugs you take, if any, as long as you're not. I just said in a poem, so perhaps I'm too. Either way, we're checking for ghosts and crackheads roaming from empty room to empty room using hockey sticks as offensive weapons, which I forgot to mention. And the tension is electric and mental, and there's an accidental second when the tigers come out to play again. These are the moments we live for every single day. Fuck the rain and the crackhead who's actually. The only ghosts around here are in our heads.